like with Robin, you watched us pass. So what did you Robin's think? Robin's passes fast. Yeah. So that's where I'm, that's where I'm at. Do I turn it up? Do I leave it alone? I think the track is good enough that you can get enough on him by the 3:30. Yeah. That he ain't gonna come around. Yeah. The only dis I don't disagree with any of that. The only decision I'm trying to make in my head is leave it alone. Maybe pull that belly out of it, or step it up a notch and go to the next tune-up. But man, I keep going back to him just clipping Kai. You know what I'm saying? In the finals, I'm facing Robin Roberts. A lot of times, I know what to do. Down here towards the end, I've been watching Robin's car all day long. The, the car's making fast passes. Robin and his crew have got that thing ironed out. They are 100% a top contender. And so that's when it starts getting tough for me because I start going, OK, this is what I'm going to do. Nah, I'm going to second guess myself. I might do this. Nah, I might do that. I went back, made an executive decision. We turned it up just a little bit, not a lot, just a little. We're here to race, and I'm here to win that money. Ryan and I, we haven't raced that often. And honestly, last year, every time we did, he beat me. This year, we got him twice, so I know what he's thinking. He used to be a turbo guy. He knows what we're going to do in the last 100 feet. I know what he's going to do in the first 100 feet. So I got to let him get out on me and be comfortable letting him be out on me. When my car settles, grab onto the button and roll him and hope to get him in that last 100 feet. Because if we beat him, that's where we'll beat him. Just like Kai Kelly, if we're going to beat him, we're going to get him at the end, at the stripe. It's going to be close. If we don't, if he gets out too far, we're just done. And that, that's, that's kind of racing. It's the tail of two cars that are built completely differently. So this is going to be one hell of a race. However it comes out, it's going to be a race. Raceways, No Prep Kings winner, $40,000 richer, Ryan Martin. Race number nine. I love it. Bob, look, we got another one. Got you another one. Yeah, yeah, we went out the same one. Yeah. <laughs> I let go of the button. The car immediately tracked right. I tried to steer it. I tried to steer it harder. I tried to steer it even more and then picked the wheels up at about 250 feet. And I thought, you're just going to run over cones. So I had to lift, dab it, hope he did something goofy and he didn't. You know, the race was over at about the halfway mark. Today is his day, and uh, good for him. You know, he's the king of no prep kings.